Hey everyone, the Lever Guns here. Hey, we're going to take this 1886 Winchester. And this thing originally came out in 1886. It's a John Browning design. And uh, here's the original cartridge it came out in, 4570. But we're not as shooting it in the 4570. We're shooting it in a in a in a bigger a bigger more batter cartridge. Here's the 4570, and here's the cartridge we're shooting it in, which is the 5110. Originally a black powder cartridge, just like the 4570. We're gonna see in this big old plate what it will do. It's known as the most powerful lever action cartridge. It can generate up to 6,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, uh, but we're not going to shoot it with that kind of energy. We're going to shoot it about 5,200, and uh, this is that plate that Buffalo sent over, and uh, as you can see, we managed to put some holes in it. We have holes in it with the 4590, the 348, um, the 405. Never did get a 4570 to make a hole in it, but uh, that's that plate that Buffalo was talking about. Let's get started and shoot this target and see what happens. We're going to use one of these solid bronze bullets and uh, see what it does. Well, here's that plate. It definitely caught that bullet in there. And uh, you can stick two fingers inside of that massive hole in there. But it definitely caught it. And uh, as you can see, it pushed it all the way back into that can. And this would definitely be your chest. Not sure how well you would feel. So, but hey, it, it, it didn't penetrate it. Wonder how that got all the way back in there. I mean, that whole thing must have bowed backwards or something. Because there's no way it can fit in there now. Maybe we can see on the slow-mo. So, hey, it survived. So I want to shoot it with another bullet here, and maybe another bullet down here. All right, we're going to shoot this 4590. It's another 1886, and we're going to shoot it with this right here. This is a 225 grain bullet going 3,000 feet a second. 3,000 feet a second. Let's see what we do. Yeah, look like we stopped that one too. Right there. We're gonna, uh, I guess we're gonna turn it over like this and shoot it with the uh, 300 grain bullet or maybe a 500 grain bullet and see what happens. 
that's um, major deformation. I mean, that thing, that thing did some damage. This is the bullet that's penetrated all the body armor so far. It's a 300 grain bullet doing 2,800 feet a second. Well, three shots, you pretty much, this is history. This ain't gonna hold up anymore. It's destroyed. But I, I never stop until something's got a hole in it. So let's shoot one more. This here is a cutting edge bullet. It's a bad boy. I guarantee you it's probably gonna go on through because that thing's so damaged. Let's get back so we don't get all wet. All right, here it goes. Well, I hate to say it, but that cutting edge bullet did not make it through either. Although if you look at this stuff, it's shot, man. It's shot. So that means we're going to have to shoot one more bullet out of that 4590 because we're going to get a hole in it. The 4590 is going to knock a hole right through it. You watch. I'm going to try to shoot it right in that same area. All right, 4590. This is another 300 grain, uh, 225 grain bullet doing uh, 3,000 feet a second. Pretty sure she went right on through. But it's about time, you know. Let's check it out. <laughs> I'm wrong, man. That stuff is tough. Let's see if any of them bullets made it through. The 4590 was doing a number on it. Yep, yep. Some of them come on through. One, two, three, four, maybe five of them. So we got holes going through this all the way through and into the log. You all see that? All right, let's take a look at how this thing is made. It's not actually bulletproof all the way to the edge, I wouldn't think, because that tile is in a little bit. That looks like some kind of softish rubber. But they're little squares. Get the camera focus. So if you broke one, you didn't necessarily break the whole thing. So, that's interesting to me. They're just little squares. So, basically, when your bullet smashes into one, it breaks your bullet up. And then all this stuff here, these, it's probably some of the Kevlar or something. This what catches your bullet. One of them, it's not enough to stop a 22 bullet, but two of them are, and that's what your 22 bullet looks like after it hits them. All right, guys, what do you think? Them lever actually did a pretty good job, didn't they? Make sure you give Buffalo a thumbs up. Uh, as always, come back and see us. It's all yours, Buffalo.